everyone welcome back to alchemy of a zero phase this is eric and this video is kind of a follow-up to the video i just did about uh in painting and the new uh, sdxl in painting models um as you saw in those in that video these in painting models are really good uh but what i found out so a lot of people like uh, out painting but the frustration they have is the scene that is created sometimes without painting and uh, I want to do a real quick video here and show you which of these in painting models uh, does a phenomenal job without painting and so uh, let's let's get an image going here we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a 9 by 16 image and we're gonna out paint that to the sides and show you what it does here so we're gonna do photography of a hiker in the mountains, mountains surrounded by forest at sunset. Let's just get a prompt for this real quick here and uh, show you what this does. So let's do, uh, we're going to do portrait. So that's a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. And just so you can see here, let's just switch that over. So that's 9 by 16. We're not going to high res up fix this. We're just going to do it as is. Let's do um, let's do four of them just to, so we can get an idea of which one we might like. And the config scale we're going to bring up to three. I'm actually enjoying doing it at three more so than not and adding a few extra steps up here. Grab those images. Yeah, these will work great. Show you what you can do without painting too. Okay, so that one's not bad. And you have to kind of imagine like what would be off to the sides of this and kind of guide yourself that way. So let's, um, I'm liking that one right there because it's got kind of what, I, what I'm envisioning over here. Okay, and uh, let's take that. We're going to send that over to image to image. It brings over the prompt here. And what I'm going to do, we're going to leave everything else the same. We're going to get rid of anything that's specific to the hiker because we're going to be out painting this, and I don't want another hiker in here. Um, that's fine. We're going to get rid of this and put in... Small town in valley. Okay, so to outpaint, we're going to change the model to the in-painting model that uh, I recently just talked about. It's called, um, oh, called now I can't remember. Uh, yeah, the Dream Shaper XL Lightning mo in-painting model. So this is a lightning model. So we're going to adjust some settings here. We're going to keep the sampling steps at 10. Um, the sampling method I don't think necessarily matters. This one seemed to work really well, so I'm going to leave it there. The um, denoise strength for this, we are going to turn it all the way up to 0.99. And the config scale, we can leave the same. Come down here. We're going to select the script called Ultimate SD Up. Oh, sorry, not Ultimate SD Upscale. Uh, Outpainting MK2. We're going to turn this all the way up to 256. And we're only going to do the left side because that's where I want the town. We'll see what it does here. Mask blur, we're going to turn that all the way up too. I want to do the uh, maximum number of expansion pixels I can, but I also want to mask blur. You know, let's try it at 32. I did it at 64 before. It works really great, but it does eat up some of the existing picture. So I, what it does, it grabs that and... Uh, blends in with that or or blur it does a mask blur but let's see how this does this in painting model I'm finding out is, is really really good so let's do that quick out painting here I've used the model recently so it should already be loaded into memory okay, so we're getting something down there as you can see that blended it just beautifully so yeah that's that's really good so it's assuming there's a tree next to us. I mean, I didn't put the town in here, but it's getting the valley down in there, which is really cool. And I like that. So let's go ahead and send that over to image to image. 
and we're going to do it again. We don't have to change anything. We're just going to generate again. And the fact that it does this so fast, we're dealing with a lightning model is just awesome. So we're getting some closer branches so they're out of focus. So that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll run with that. I'm not getting the town. That's okay. I don't care. Really, this is just to, to display its ability to create these images with, without any uh, seam. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's a seam there. It's hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. I'm going to show you something you can do afterwards if there is a seam, but I'm not seeing one. So we're going to send this over. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change this up. Um, we're just going to get rid of this altogether. Okay. Now we come down here. We're going to do to the right. So it should shoot off to the right and start generating an image out there. Just like that. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like, I've done this before and struggled with, with getting something that doesn't leave a seam or creates an object that kind of accompanies that, that edge. And this model just is it's nailing it every time. Even when I was testing this, it was just nailing it. So let's do it one more time. Let's go out that direction again. And again, it just it just nailed it. Like I am not seeing seeing nothing that looks unnatural. That looks phenomenal. I love that. Now here's one little tip that for those of you who if you do get a seam or even when you're working with a different in painting model and you're getting seams okay take that image put it back over into the image to image again we're going to shut off the out painting script and we're going to come down here we're just going to do point three leave everything else the same we're going to change this over to a different model not the in painting model we're going to go back to Reality's Edge. I really like that one. Don't have to change anything else. All we're doing is with the denoise strength, we're just telling it to kind of re-render the image as is, and it'll just adjust things as necessary. Again, I'm not seeing any issues with this, but let's just see. So what this does, it'll kind of re-render the image as a whole. And I think we got the right size. Yep. Yeah. And what this would do is it would eliminate any of those seams that you see. And it kind of fixes a lot of things, too. It'll go through and fix some stuff. So then, now, uh, as a bonus, let's just take this and upscale it. Okay, so we're going to send this one over here. So you can see there was only just a minor bit of difference in, in it, but it kept everything else pretty much the whole overall aesthetic, which is great. I love it. So now we're going to upscale this. So what we want to do is come down. We're going to... Changes back over to the in painting model. Okay. We're going to leave everything else the same. We're going to come down here to Control Net Integrated. We're going to enable it. Select Tile. Come down here to the scripts. Select Ultimate SD Upscale. You don't have to change anything under Control Net. Just enable it. Enable Tile. That's it. For the ultimate SD upscale, make sure you change. I've got mine preset. I went into the config file and changed this, but you want to make sure this is set to scale from image size. Scale two times. Pick your upscaler. I actually like doing the 4X NMKD SIAX 200K. Works really well. And that's it. You can leave everything else the same. Um, they the presets on this seem to work pretty well for this so let's go ahead and render this and it should go pretty quick too because we're using the in paint lightning model let's give it a second to chunk it up into the smaller chunks what it does it tiles it it kind of creates tiles and, and separates them so that we can increase the res of each of those tiles Yeah, it's moving through that pretty quick. Okay. 
Now I did leave this denoise strength on 0.3. I don't think that'll be a problem. It'll actually add a little more detail, do a better job of upscaling. But let's see what it does. Getting close, almost done. So this will take it from 1600 by 1024 to 3200 by 2048. It definitely looks a lot sharper. And we definitely got quite a bit more detail in there. Detail on the shoes, the rocks. Yeah, that looks great. So this is a great technique for um, outpainting. That model works wonderful. So for those of you who have been kind of holding off from uh, doing those doing the outpaint mk2 because it leaves a seam switch over to using the dream dream shaper xl lightning in painting model uh, and you're gonna just you're gonna have a great time with this creating these uh, these beautiful images with a lot more detail in them being able to start off that way perfect anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed this short little video like and subscribe and we'll talk to you later